Can you make a table whose legs are attached with magnets? We built a footstool to test out the idea and figure out what might go wrong. Each leg uses a strong, one-inch diameter neodymium magnet, attracting to a steel piece in the top of the footstool. They stick well. It takes something like 15 pounds of force to pull up one of these legs. That sounds like a big number, but each leg seems much too easy to tip over. Very easy to push over. Eight inches of leverage. If we try standing on this footstool, the problem becomes obvious pretty quickly. With just a little wiggling from side to side, the whole thing tips over. Move a little bit. No good. We measured how much force it takes to push this over, and it was just shy of 20 pounds. Most of that is because someone heavy is standing on it. But let's break this down a little further. When we think about forces on these legs, what exactly are we talking about? Measuring the force needed to pull the magnet straight away from the steel washer, we see 15 to 20 pounds of force. That's just like our pull force case one numbers listed on our website. Now, that's a very different number than the force required to tip the leg over. Because these legs are eight inches tall, they have a lot of leverage. It only takes about a pound of force to tip it over. Okay, let's construct a better footstool. We'll redesign the wood pieces, but still use the exact same magnet and steel washers. We start by cutting four legs from some round wood stock. The new feature we're introducing is this collar piece, cut from a two by four with a hole just big enough for the leg to fit inside. We attach four of these collar pieces to the stool's top, one at each corner. Just like the first stool, we attach steel washers to the stool's top, but this time it's down inside the holes of those collar pieces. Next, we attach the magnets to the legs just like the first footstool. This arrangement requires the same amount of pull force to pull those legs straight up away from the stool's top. But those collar pieces prevent the easy tipping problem we had before. Way down in there is the steel. In a pushover test, we leaned into it with more than 50 pounds of push with no problem. This is a perfect example of using some kind of mechanical constraint to make the magnet's job much easier. These great results just aren't possible with magnets alone. Even if we took the first footstool and doubled or tripled the magnet size, it would be too easy to tip over. It takes this mechanical solution to overcome the leverage the long leg has. 30, 40, I mean, yeah. can't get a good grip on this. 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Yeah, I mean, I have to. Yeah, at that point, you're just going to break the screws loose on the wood, probably. Yeah. 
or just tackle you. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching. We hope some of the ideas here help you in your next magnet project.